Your Excellency, the President of Albania, and Mrs. President, uh, leadership of the JCC, uh, distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. The International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation was founded in 1997 by Congressman Tom Lantos of California and Baruch Tenenbaum of Argentina. Raoul Wallenberg, as you probably know, is a Swedish diplomat who saved tens of thousands of Jewish lives in Hungary during the Holocaust. Sadly, in 1945, just before the war ended, Wallenberg was abducted by the Soviets, never to be seen again. The Raoul Wallenberg Foundation has compiled an archive of videotaped interviews with people who were saved by or worked with Raoul Wallenberg. The archive can be accessed through the Foundation's website. The International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation is committed to carrying on Wallenberg's mission of fighting for justice and human rights, as well as honoring humanitarian heroes of the past and present. The Raoul Wallenberg Foundation campaigns state governors in the United States to declare October 5th as Raoul Wallenberg Day in an effort to promote the values exhibited by Wallenberg. Wallenberg Day has already been declared in 18 states. This film, Bessa, which is to be screened shortly, is part of the Raoul Wallenberg Foundation program of saviors of the screen in cooperation with JCC Manhattan. The Raoul Wallenberg Medal is awarded to individuals who keep the legacy of Raoul Wallenberg alive through their actions, like the United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who received the Raoul Wallenberg Foundation. On this occasion, on behalf of Baruch Tenenbaum and Eduardo Unerkian, heads of the Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, we are proud to award the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation Medal to His Excellency Buyar Nishani, uh, President of Albania, in gratitude to the extensive help by all layers of Albanian society, Muslims and Christians, to the 2,000 Jews who fled to Albania to seek shelter from Nazi persecutions. Incidentally, Albania has the distinct honor of having more Jews there at the end of the war than at the beginning. For this act of humanitarianism, the Jewish people will forever remain grateful to Albania, and I might add, the descendants of Skandenberg. Mr. President, the medal has on one side a photo of Raoul Wallenberg, and on the other side it says, Award to the People of Albania. Good evening, everybody. It's, uh, it's human to be so emotional uh, in such uh, event and uh, among such distinguished people and uh, to take uh, appreciation and grateful uh, and to hear such uh, very kind and friend, uh, friendly words addressing to, to, to my people to my country, to my nation. 
Honorable Mr. Tenenbaum, Honorable Chairman Eduardo Ernekem, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, while wholeheartedly thanking you. And please permit to state that I feel particularly fluttered from the invitation and the opportunity you provide to me to address in order to briefly express a few thoughts and views about the appreciation you are best wing upon me and through me to the entire Albanian people. In the capacity of the President of the Republic of Albania, I'm more than convinced that your noble scope and mission to promote dialogue, understanding, and peace among various individuals and nations regarding the preservation and enrichment of those holy values which were so selfishly and heroically preserved by Earl Wallenberg will be accomplished and so successful, fulfilling in order to make the world we live in a better one, for also for upcoming generation. Distinguished participants and American Jewish friends, just a while ago, your distinguished role, Wallenberg Foundation, made me an honorary member by providing me the chance and the lucky opportunity to join other heads of states, Nobel Prize laureates, and many other personalities from all over the world who are trying to demonstrate and show to humanity the selfless deed of Roald Wallenberg. Freedom is the most precious thing for mankind, but it's even harder for a human being to break free and escape the chain, chains of mind by putting behind once and for all anti-Semitism, racism, chauvinism, communism, persecution, totalitarianism, and terrorism. The globe in which we live, in at the present days, is filled with innumerable dangers and threats. And that is why our common scope and aim is to build a better reality and world for ourselves, our children, for the future generations, because this represents our primary responsibility, especially that of the heads of states, governments, and of leaders of various political and social organizations. This is the unlabeled mission of your foundation. And that is why I'm accepting this award and appreciation with great pride. Because it is not simply best wood upon me, upon me, in the capacity of the president and who according to Albanian constitution represents the unity of the people. I'm accepting this appreciation which is being best wood upon me on behalf of the entire Albanian people, on behalf of all those righteous Albanian among nations, as a merit and recognition of their noble spirit defending the human values of life, which is the most precious thing in the world, regardless wherever it belongs to a Jew, to a Muslim, or to a Christian. Thank you so much.
Thank you.